now have thousands. So it being five o'clock, I'd like to call the meeting to no order. No agenda. Agenda review and disposition. I'm all done, Madam Chair. All set. All right. The minutes of the August 16th okay. board meeting board meeting are posted. Are there any corrections or amendments? So they stand approved as written. Privilege of the floor. Mr. Halloran. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. And contained in your packet is the opening day enrollment that um, we had in all of our schools. Um, I, I'm pleased to tell you that uh, throughout the SAU, we're up uh, 17 students from the previous year. Uh, we had been we had been dropping about 15 to 20 students a year for the past three or four years. So we're uh, we're at uh, uh, 1,907 students uh, in the SAU. We had 1,890 on October 1st of last year for our account. In terms of uh, the elementary, the uh, high school. You look at your senior class, you have 158 students in the senior class. Um, but if you look at the juniors, the sophomores, the freshmen, and if you look at the eighth grade, right currently at 164, not including Ashland, you can see that you'll have some growth um, in the next year. And as you look on up the line, um, you know, you, you look at 154, 143, uh, 135 is a little small. But if you, you look from about the fourth grade on, you've got stability. Uh, and that stability is, is very good in terms of, of the number of faculty needed, the facility, and things like that. So uh, we're seeing our most growth, uh, quite frankly, in Thornton and Plymouth. Um, both of those schools increased enrollment. But even the, the decreases uh, were not significant. Uh, so uh, we, we, we look pretty good on opening day. Also, Madam Chair, contained in your package is a copy of a, a, a letter of intent to bargain from the Faculty uh, Association, and um, there's an original copy for the chair, and then, um, and then I photocopy the uh, copy that I, I received. So the negotiations committee um, uh, will need to meet, and, and I would like to spend a little bit of time with the negotiations committee just to go through portions of the contract that, that uh, um, I would request that that we uh, that the, the board consider looking at um, in, in negotiations. So. All right. And that's my report, Madam Chair. All right. And I will ask. Um, I have three people who I'm hoping will say yes with an alternate in mind for negotiations. I think you're on, sir. All right. Um, well, I'd just like to say that I'm glad to be back, but I will get straight to the current event. So today and tomorrow at 6 p.m., we have the auditions for this year's musical. Um, senior picture retakes are Wednesday and Thursday, and I believe that there was an issue with one of the cameras that the photographers used, which caused um, a number of the pictures that they took um, last school year to be lost. So I think that some people just need to take new pictures to begin with. Um, Wednesday is the first Grand State Challenge meeting, um, and I think they had a great season last year, so hopefully we can have another great season this year. Saturday is an ACT test date, um, and Monday is the first SEC meeting, um, School Community Council, um, which I'm a part of, I'm very excited for that. And Thursday the 15th is the Senior College Workshop and College Fair, so I think that's going to be a big day for our seniors. And then I think freshman elections are coming up sometime soon, I'm not actually positive when, but Good luck to them. So that's it. Thank you. And thank you for coming back again this year. You know, it's my pleasure, really. <coughs> Madam Chair, good morning. Good afternoon. I have a couple of things, but I, I would like to show you the video uh, that uh, we put on for uh, freshman orientation. Uh, we had uh, uh, over 98% attendance for freshman orientation. We extended their day uh, a little longer this year. Uh, we split them up into three different groups. We had a library piece, uh, uh, and so uh, that that added to our day. And then we brought, brought them all back into the uh, auditorium, and I do want to show you this video uh, that was made by the uh, students, and uh, stars one of our own here. I'm sure he'll be tickled pink. 
I also want to let you know I had the uh, good fortune today to meet with a couple of members of the community. Uh, they're hosting, coming up, I want to get this right, they're hosting, I think, at the end of September. Uh, it's on the channel called uh, Outdoor, Outdoor Channel. I don't know if any of uh, you guys are familiar with, uh, they have two famous fishermen there, a uh, Charles Ingram, uh, Ray Br uh, Brazier, the TV shows, man, I did research, it's been over 30 years. Uh, uh, Charlie has hosted two presidents, uh, uh, Mr. Bush Sr. and Mr. Bush Jr. But they're doing a show in Holdings on Squam Lake. And one of the features that the uh, TV uh, the show does is they like to incorporate the local uh, high school uh, to really put on a presentation of what outdoor opportunity, employment opportunities there are uh, out there for students. Uh, I met with two of the representatives today. This is totally being done like uh, the housing is being done by local people and, and holding it. Uh, food, all donated. The boats that they're doing. Uh, and one of the uh, requests they had was to be able to meet with a group of students uh, that would be interested in outdoor recreation. It could be the recreation piece that Lisa does. I've got a representative coming down from Fish and Game. There's a possibility of uh, uh, hospitality coming. I'm working those details. But I wanted to keep the uh, board informed. Uh, they will be doing a presentation. I think it's the 23rd. And the, uh, they really meet Bill. These two fishermen, famous fishermen come down, they put on a presentation of what got them involved, how they got involved, and then we will showcase uh, some of our local uh, people who are employed in the outdoors, and I'll keep you abreast as we move forward towards that. I'm targeting the juniors and seniors. For that, approximately be around 350 kids, and it'll be an hour presentation. Uh, and that is the Outdoor Channel, if you haven't seen it. Uh, uh, you can go to their website. The website that they do have, if you're interested, is Fishing University. You just hit Fishing University, and you'll, I think you'll recognize these two gentlemen uh, when you do do that. Uh, without further ado, Madam Chair, if I may, I'd like to show you that video that we did perform, uh, show for, showcase for our incoming freshmen. Brian? Can you turn that up just a bit, Ryan, please? The old Hi, are you here for the tour of the school? Awesome, I'm Lily. And I'm Jeff. And we'll be your tour guides. Yeah, so we are going to show you around and introduce you to teachers and faculty members that you should know and give you an idea of the rules that you should follow to be a good student at the RHS. Let's go. So could you tell us who you are, what you're in charge of, and why a student might come to you? Sure, I'm Mrs. Barton here in the main office. And I am the assistant principal secretary, as well as I organize all the facilities in the building. And you would come to me if you have questions in the building, want to set up a, a meeting with your advisor to use part of the facilities, or just general questions in, about the building, or where you need to go, or attendance, what have you. And I'm Brenda, or Mrs. Blake. Um, if you uh, are tardy to school, if you need to be dismissed, um, if you've lost something or you just have a general question, you're welcome to come to the front office and I'd be glad to help you with that. Hello, my name is Mr. Cleary. I'm the assistant principal and CTE director here at the high school. As you start your journey here at Plymouth Regional High School, I'd like to give you a little advice to be successful. Uh, one, be on time. Two, do your homework. Three, get involved as much as possible. And four, be kind and respectful to each other. If you need anything on your journey here at Plymouth Regional High School, please do not hesitate to come by and see me. I am located in the main office. Take care. Good day. My name is Mr. Austin. I am the school safety coordinator. Um, so I'm in charge of all the safety of the building. I also do discipline with Mr. Cleary, the assistant principal. And kids can come see me for anything they need, whether it's a 
issue they're having or otherwise. I'm open all the time. Hi there, I'm Mrs. Patricky. I'm the school nurse here at Plymouth Regional High School. And feel free to come see me for any of your health care needs, band-aids, ice packs, and anything more. I'm Mr. Currier, I'm the school social worker here, and I'm one of your go-to people for anything you might need, whether it's trying to find your your room, trying to you know deal with issues with other students, um, if you're getting behind in your homework, anything that's going on that's going to get in the way of you being successful at school, you want to make sure to come and see myself. You have Mr. Ferentz also as your, your uh, guidance counselor. Um, Mr. Austin, Mr. Cleary, and Mr. Parsons are all here for you. All the teachers and administrators are, but make sure that you, you come and see us if you have any questions. Um, it's not The only stupid question is the one you don't ask, so don't, don't be worried about that because it's a brand new place for you. We want to make sure that you have a, a good introduction to the school and do well for the next four years. So you can email me even now. Um, you can contact anybody here through, um, through the email system we have in the SAU. Um, but uh, I want to welcome to Plymouth High School. Make sure to advocate for yourself. Come and see me when you need me. And you're going to have a lot of kids here that will help you as well. So uh, welcome to the high school. That was just the office staff, but the building is filled with teachers. And finding them is super easy once you learn how to navigate. Yeah, the rooms are numbered. So the first floor is the 100s, the second floor is the 200s, and the third floor is the 300s. If you need any additional help, guidance is the place to go. My name is Gloria Rainwater, I'm the registrar, and students usually come to see me about questions with their report cards, schedules, GPAs, her time, web to school passwords, web to see guidance counselors, um, scholarship opportunities, are probably the top 10 reasons. <laughs> Hi, my name is Robert Price. I am one of the assistant principals at Plymouth Regional High School. I am the director of guidance as well as the director of all co-curricular activities. Um, students can come to see me about questions about their schedule. I make the master schedule for the entire school and for all the students. They could see me about any questions dealing with guidance or any clubs or co-curricular activities or really anything. Afternoon, Paul Ferentz, freshman guidance counselor. I work with an incredible freshman team of teachers. English, all the, all the core classes. These are fabulous sophomores, both on the honor roll, both children who came in like, you'll be coming in as freshmen, wondering and a little scared and apprehensive. But one thing about both of them, they don't back down. They don't quit, they work hard, and they work hard until they get it right. And that's all you have to do at Plymouth Region. Come in here with a work ethic, care enough about your full-time job, which is being a student, to make your parents proud. Not that hard. What else? Have food for children. We love food. We love food. We always have snacks for our children. And kids may come to me for a break because there's a homework policy. If you don't have your homework, you got a detention. So it comes to Mrs. Ferris, my dog ate it, or you know, the stupid excuses, which is okay. And we work from that premise. And um, yeah, I try to get to know every one of them anyway. So I go to all the classes, get to know them, see what's going on. What else you need to know? Never detention, never detention. Okay, so. Have you gotten snacks? Yeah, I just had some. Well, snacks for me. This is a great place to learn, stretch, challenge yourself, make your parents proud, like I said earlier, and just do your best every day. Don't worry about the grades. The teacher will back you 100%. They do all they can to see you be successful. That's true. It is. 100% true. And I check in every day. It's almost like stalking you in a good way. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And we do care enough to make sure Every child has a very good opportunity to do their best. That's what we want to see. Work hard, do your best, and have fun. Another great place to get information is the library. It's filled with lots of books, electronic resources, and sometimes really loud kids. Mm -hmm.
name is Ms. Fleck and I'm your librarian. So the library is open from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Monday through Thursday and then we're open till 5 on Friday. So before school you can come in and you can use all the computers and photocopier and you can laminate stuff. So you have a whole half an hour in the morning to get your stuff done, which is very exciting. And since you're freshman, you're going to need a pass to come in during the day. So it's a little green pass, so you're going to get it from your teacher. So if you need to come in for English, you go to your English teacher. If you need to come in for math, you go to your math teacher. And then after school is a little different. So after school, we're open, as I said, till 6 o'clock. So if you're doing a club like theater or a literary magazine, you can come in here and hang out. Um, we have magazines and books and all sorts of stuff. So the library offers a lot of books. We have over 20,000 books in our collection, and we also have Kindles. So we have 25 Kindles. You can check out their paper whites. Um, there's over 1,500 books on them, and it's the same as the books. You can check them out for three weeks at a time. We also offer iPads um, that you can use in the library, and we have flip video cameras and digital cameras and USB drives. And when you get here as ninth graders, uh, we will have Chromebooks available and laptops to check out the group home. Very exciting. Now it's time to meet the guy who runs this whole place, Parsons. Good morning. My name is Bruce W. Parsons, and I am principal of Plymouth Regional High School. I have been the principal here for the past 25 years, and my job here is to make sure this school runs as smoothly as possible and the teachers and students are having a great time and doing what they do best. Uh, students can come to me at any time of the day, whether to talk about uh, issues they're having, uh, interesting courses they'd like to see here, or other activities that they hope we can start here. But we welcome everybody from our seven communities and wish them the very, very best. Welcome to Plymouth Regional High School. I'm Janice Prescott. I'm the administrative assistant to the principal, and I do work with the principal on all the activities of the school. Students would normally come to me if they wanted to pay their class dues, or purchase a prom ticket, or um, make an appointment to see Mr. Parsons. Now we're going to go around to teachers that it will be helpful for you to meet before you go into your freshman year. Boys and girls soccer, as well as spirit and golf. 
Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Bruley. I'm the athletic trainer at Clifford Regional High School. Uh, you'd come to me if you had any type of injury uh, or if you hit your head, you might have thought you got a concussion. Come see me, we'll take care of it, and I uh, look forward to meeting you all. My name is Ms. Doherty, and I teach English to freshmen. I teach um, up on the third floor, and I have a structured study. So a lot of students come to me during structured study because they might need, need to retake a test, or they might need some extra help on their writing or um, practicing some of their skills. So that's why students come to me during structured study, and I'm looking forward to meeting the new ninth grade class. Hi, I'm Georgie Boyd. I teach ninth grade English and also ninth grade honors English. And also I assist in structured study time where students come and they get help one-on-one -on -one from me. Mr. Carey, I'm the athletic director. I also teach a phys ed class. Yeah, to think about it. Um, yeah. As an athletic director, you might have some questions about uh, those athletics. Different things with sports and, and teams you might be interested in, or, or different um, policies and procedures, and uh, there's many questions you might have. So hopefully, you feel welcome uh, to come up to this office or downstairs in the locker room. I have another office, and and. Uh, Again, if you have any questions with uh, athletics or even phys ed, uh, you can come see me. Thanks. Look forward to seeing you next year. Hi, my name is Mrs. Morrison. I am a head advisor and a special education teacher. And I also coach varsity cheerleading. And I also coach um, varsity unified basketball. All fun. Great to be involved. Tell me a little about the dress code here. Um, well, basically for guys and girls, no leggings. Can't wear yoga pants. You can't show your shoulder. shoulders. Shoulders, no tank tops. Um, no low shirts. But is it really? It's a hand, right? I think so. No shorts, three inches above your knees. Four. It's four inches. Okay. Um, I think that's. Oh, you can't have like inappropriate language on shirts and, or in inappropriate language or images. Students should always have appropriate clothing, such as no sleeveless or see-through shirts, and any shorts or skirts must be longer than four inches above the knee. Also, no ripped or torn clothing. So, uh, what is the homework policy at your chest? The homework policy at Mount Regional High School is that you do the homework, and if you don't do it, you get a detention. And depending on the teacher, you can turn in the next day and have credit. And if you don't do it after that, you'll get a zero credit and a detention. While doing homework, it's important to manage your time so you can finish all your homework before the day is due. So, what's the cell phone policy here? The cell phone policy is that you can't use it before or during school. Actually, you can use it before school, right? No. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the cell phone policy at PRHS is that you can't use it before or during school, but you can use it after school. Also, you can't use it in the library. Students are allowed to text after school, but not before or during. What is the attendance policy at PHS? Um, so basically, you can have eight absences, and excuse absences, and if you get mad, then they're like, nope, and you get mad again. No, 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 All absences must be excused either over the phone or in the note. Students cannot be absent more than seven days without special permission. Um, and also, once a student returns from an absence, they must retrieve all work that they missed. <laughs> what do you know about the attendance policies? Well, mostly, you should definitely get to school on time because you can definitely be penalized if you miss too many days of school. 
Um, also, being tardy to school can result in different detentions um, if you've done it more than once or if you've done it a few times. If you'd like to be early to school, you can show up early and get all your stuff together and ready so you're prepared and even socialize with your friends. Students are required to arrive at school by 7.30 a.m. Any later and they will need a tardy slip. The first five tardies are excused, but everyone afterwards is in detention. <laughs> so, what's the deal with the detention policy at RHS? <laughs> If you skip your detention, you'll probably get a Friday detention, and no one wants that, right? Oh no, nobody wants that. There are many different types of detention. A teacher detention is given by a specific teacher who must be served with that teacher. An admin detention must be served the day of or the day after the offense and lasts from 2.30 until 3.15. Hey, no talking. Friday detention. A Friday detention is the worst kind of detention. A Friday detention must be served on Friday and lasts from the end of school until 5 o'clock. You don't want to get a Friday detention. All right, that's all for now, but there is plenty more to see and do at PRHS. Yeah, there's Winter Carnival, Homecoming, and I hear there's a pool on the fourth floor. Yeah, and there are lots of new teachers to meet, too. And if you still have any questions, make sure to contact an administrator through the school website. Yeah, so we, uh, we will see you when you get to PRHS. Bye! Thank you. That pretty much, uh, I think the kids enjoyed seeing that better than listening to a uh, presentation from the administration. Jenny, you mind getting those lights? Yeah. So, thank you, Madam Chair. All right. Thank I you. really uh, thank Jack and Libby for, they did a lot of work for putting that together. Yeah, that was very nicely done. Well, thank you. Um, I would like to give all credit for the editing to um, Barbara McKenzie. She was the one that uh, had the creative vision, and I, you know, I, I when I agreed to act in that, I thought it was going to be a slightly shorter video. So. No, you covered all the bases, though. Yes. You really did. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Is how did they access that group? Did they see it when they were at home? Or? Uh, they could see it. I thought it was on the web, but uh, they. Uh, I had a presentation from for freshman orientation in the auditorium. You know, I had all pretty much had the so entire class. Parents could see that at home too. Yes, yeah, right. they could. Yeah, parents could right. view that from the web. Yeah, it really describes everything yeah. pretty much. Yeah. You know, from their point of view, which yeah. is great. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. We don't have any committee progress reports, but the next meetings of facilities, policy, and budget program and staffing are. Monday, September 19th, starting at 5 o'clock here. And SCC, when is their next meeting? Monday the 12th. Monday the 12th. Yeah. Thank you. Discussion items? <coughs> Any board members? Something to share. Just pass this around. I thought you might like oh. to see Mr. Halloran and uh, Mr. Parsons in 1995. <laughs> <laughs> Try to follow when that up, Mr. Hair, Halloran. Look bad <laughs> Mr. Halloran. Yes, we have, uh, after non public, we'll have nominations for uh, some support staff positions, um, uh, paraprofessionals. We also are going to fill uh, two coaching vacancies, and we also have a list of volunteers for your approval. Um, and then uh, in your package was uh, the finance report for the end of the fiscal year. We'll go into this in more detail at, um, at policy and budget, but I just wanted to give you uh, the summary sheet because you've signed the uh, MS-25 and the DOE-25. Um, and ju just briefly, if you, if you look at the, the first page, um, your fund equity was a little bit over uh, one million dollars. That's up one hundred and twenty thousand dollars, and you see your encumbrances of seven hundred eighteen thousand. Forty-four percent of those encumbrances uh, were for one special education program, um, so about three hundred and twenty-two thousand uh, dollars 
what uh, was a surprise for us. Um, and then uh, your retained fund balance, as you voted at your board meeting, is 103000 If we don't need that money, that's the start of your unreserved fund balance for next year. And you will be dealing with that a little bit uh, later on in, in, in the fall. And then you can see your unreserved fund balance is uh, $200,000 as, uh, as you had promised the taxpayers when you put uh, the FY17 budget into uh, effect. Uh, the revenues are on the other side. We finished up 127,000 um, uh, from our projections. Uh, the, the, the major piece of that was tuition. Uh, we ended up up $113,485 from the projection, and you know that is uh, from uh, students that come here from Warren, Waterville, and Ellsworth, and that sort of uh, you know you just really never know. But uh, that that. Uh, that was a big help for us. So that the uh, 127,000, along with the remainder, gets you the 200,000 that we return. The remainder would have been appropriations that weren't used. And the uh, only other highlight I wanted to show you was uh, on food service. We finished the year um, uh, with a, with a uh, positive number of $7,500. Remember, our goal always is is to break even, so we're not subsidizing the program. In the last couple of years. Uh, we've done pretty well with that. So uh, the 7,500 added to your fund balance of 13.7 gets you a FY16 fund balance of uh, $21,000, and that's that. So that's money in the food service account that uh, is there for uh, any any equipment in the cafeteria or or anything like that. But I will highlight for you up in up in revenue. Um, it, you see per diem, uh, state and federal reimbursement, we went from $678 a day to $733 a day. That's uh, almost $10,000 in increased sales in uh, state and federal revenues. And that's, that's actually a very good thing for us. That means that more kids who qualify and their families are taking advantage of the program. Also, when we go for grants and we also uh, get our number for um, uh, uh, revenue, our adequacy number, uh, that factor really helps us, the percentage of kids that are on free and reduced. It increases uh, revenues from the state, so we're pretty pleased, we're pretty pleased by that. So, um, and, and the relationship with CAFE services is, uh, is very good. So. But with any other questions that we have, we're happy to go over the policy. I'm just one question. What is E-rate reimbursement? That's, uh, we, pay, um, uh, we pay for internet service through um, Time Warner, and then we take our bill and apply a portion of it, and the federal government reimburses us under, under the program started in the uh, Clinton years. So. And Ross, you had a question? I was just going to ask you. For some reason, the thirty thousand was not paid into the. Yes, we would we uh, leave that in the account, um, so that's in the activity account. We we didn't need it to balance the books, and we we just sometimes reserve that for a couple years and cross it over when we need it. All right. All right. Thank you, Mark. Is there any other any other concerns from school board members? And motion to go into non-public. Yes. 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 Yes.